I've been posted in uh, Delhi for the last uh, three years, and I've been coming also to the um, annual anniversary of MSSRF on a regular basis for the last uh, three years. Uh, I really enjoy and look forward to, uh, to this particular um, event, uh, because each time I have come, I have uh, seen that the topics that were discussed turned into uh, either a large national program or a policy statement. Uh, for example, I believe it was two years ago when uh, MSSRF launched the Nutrition Revolution. And uh, a few months after the, um, the, uh, the deliberations on Nutrition uh, Revolution, uh, the government, national government had launched the Poshan Abiyan uh, mission. Uh, so it means that really um, MSSRF anticipates on the key issues uh, that are important not only for India but for the world and at the same time proposes very actionable uh, recommendations to its partners, whether these are from the government or uh, uh, private sector foundations and others. <clears throat> so for me it was always coming to uh, MSSRF meant that I knew more or less what would happen in the next year or so in terms of major changes or, uh, or events uh, or policy shifts in, in the government and in India uh, overall. Um, in terms of a recommendation for the future, I would say I really encourage MSSRF to keep up the excellent work it has been doing. Uh, I believe there is a need, given the knowledge that the foundation has, there is really a need to uh, perhaps uh, reach out more, network more, bring the, the many like-minded people together, perhaps around the community of practice, um, and start imagining what the future of agriculture will be. Uh, not only in India, but also globally. Uh, the SDGs uh, are around um, the corner. Ten years' time will go like a flash. Uh, so it's time to start preparing for the next 20, and, uh, 50, uh, 20 30 years, when also the climate uh, change events will be felt the most. MSSRF, uh, based on the um, uh, testimonial that uh, Professor Swaminathan had shared, uh, was really established for anticipatory research. And it has been very well in doing it uh, so far. I would say you continue in the same way, uh, but also uh, start looking at issues, for example, related to managing water scarcity, um, <clears throat> revitalizing uh, soils and degraded lands, because we do need uh, the production system, and uh, then imagining the future of smallholders. So um, can we continue having an agriculture? Uh, is there a possibility to, uh, what are the incentives for land consolidation, for better land tenancy uh, legislation, and so forth?